So I reviewed the Asus ZenBook 14 a few months ago and it was one of the best compact laptops I had ever used. But here we go again, Asus just sent over the ZenBook Flip 13 and it takes compactness and thinness to another level. Let's take a look. So the ZenBook Flip 13 is a gorgeous looking laptop and one of the first things I noticed immediately I took it out of the box is how solid feeling yet fairly like this laptop is. Coming in at 1.3 kg, it's one of the more comfortable laptops to carry around as this won't give you any concerns with the weight. It is also very slim with a side profile of approximately 13.9 mm and that's incredibly thin and Asus sure knows how to make great looking, functional yet thin and light laptops. If you remember the ZenBook 14 I reviewed a while back, that laptop also had a great slim profile and an awesome build quality. The Asus ZenBook Flip here matches the ZenBook 14 and also brings more to the table. We have the exclusive 360 degree ergo lift hinge design here that raises the laptop slightly when open for improved cooling and heat dissipation. The chassis and lead of the ZenBook Flip 13 is made of lightweight diamond cut aluminum alloy and it does feel very premium. Asus said the 360 degree ergo lift hinge has been durability tested for over 20,000 open and close cycles. So if on average you open and close your laptop 10 times in a day, it will take you about 5.5 years before you probably experience any issues with the hinge. Well since I can't test this out, we'll just go with that claim. On the specification side of things, the ZenBook Flip 13 UX363 comes packed with some very impressive specification. It has an Intel Core i7 11th Gen processor and the Intel Iris X integrated graphics. And my unit here has 8 gigs of RAM and 500 gigabytes of solid state drive. Although you can go as high as 16 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte of PCIe 3.0 NVMe SSD storage. You also have an option to pick a uh, unit with the Intel Optane Memory H10 storage which speeds up PCs tremendously by drastically reducing the boot and program load times. Now for the ports, you've got one full-sized HDMI port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port and two Thunderbolt four type C ports, one of which is the charging port which can also be used to transfer data and the other is a regular data port. Now the ZenBook Flip 13 comes with a 65 watt charging brick which can deliver fast charge to the device taking it from 0 to 60% in about 50 minutes. This is really handy if you need to juice up real fast. On the ZenBook 14, I had complained of the left palm rest getting quite hot uh, while charging but in here the story is different. There's little or no heat while charging and it literally stayed very cool all the while I was charging and using the laptop at the same time. In terms of heat dissipation, the raised button does help to cool the system thanks to that ergo lift hinge and charging with the lead closed and no lift saw slightly warmer temperatures. So it's best you charge while the lead is open. Now the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 has a 13.3 inch OLED touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p which is a full HD display and it's got a 0.2 milliseconds response time. This display looks good and I have absolutely no complaints here. If you're using this as a media or work tool, you're going to have a beautiful viewing experience. The display offers an ultra wide color gamut of 100% DCI-P3 which is widely used in the motion picture industry and this Asus OLED panel is calibrated to accurately reproduce colors in a 3D color volume. Now this basically means it's showing the content accurately as intended by its creators. Look, the display here looks very beautiful and you have absolutely no complaints watching contents on this display. It's also a touch screen display so it's quite responsive and fast when I use my fingers to select items on the screen. And in case you didn't know it, you can also flip this device 360 degrees essentially turning it into a tablet, hence the flip in the name. But how does it really fare as a tablet? Honestly, it's good. Although it's quite heavy for a tablet, it works fine. 
Now this laptop comes with the number pad 2.0 which is an LED illuminated numeric keypad that is integrated in the touchpad and this makes up for a lack of um, physical numeric keypads in compact laptops. A single touch sensor at the top right of the touchpad turns the number pad on and off and a tap on the icon at the top left lets you choose one of the two brightness levels um, and you can also swipe from that top left icon in any direction on the number pad 2.0 to activate the calculator app on the main display. Now this gives you a productive way to enter numbers solving that age-old problem of the lack of numeric keypads on a compact laptop. With the number pad you can quickly perform data entry or calculations in touchpad mode. The number pad has LEDs that are positioned underneath the touchpad. So when the number pad is activated, the LEDs light up so the user can see the numbers on the touchpad. Even when the number pad is activated, the touchpad retains its cursor function. Now, this is because the number pad has a special software that recognizes um, your fingertip motion to distinguish whether you're typing numbers or you're actually moving the cursor. Now, I must say I'm very happy with this workaround. It actually really works and great job from Asus, really. The ZenBook Flip 13 has an Asus pen, which is included here in my unit. And this pen is an active stylus accessory that supports 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity, allowing users to create more detailed and vivid art stroke design works. Now, the, the stylus is a one-to-one -one size with an actual pen. And you wouldn't have any problems in handling this stylus. It, it just feels like an actual pen. However, in my tests using this pen in Paint 3D, the lag between writing and what's appearing on the screen is quite noticeable. This it's not a deal breaker, however, as it's completely usable and better than having no pen. Now, performance on the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 was top notch. This system packs some of the best and latest specs in the market. So you should generally be fine with its performance. I loaded some video and photo editing apps and it performed smoothly without any hiccups. I didn't load any games here, but I'd like to believe this system can absolutely handle most games without hiccups. So priced at a little over a thousand dollars, the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 UX363 is a good buy for anyone looking for a compact, pretty, lightweight, sleek, beautifully designed laptop with a sturdy build and that has most of the parts you really need, unlike some other brands that we know out there. It also packs top of the shelf specs all in a very thin and small profile. If this is what you're looking for, then you should look no further than the Asus ZenBook Fleet 13 UX363. If you're a creative, an executive or a corporate high flyer, this is one laptop you may really want to take a look at. In my review of the Asus ZenBook 14, I said I would have loved to see a USB charging port and they included it here. I also said I would love to see a fingerprint scanner in the power button of the ZenBook 14 and they even did one better by including Windows Hello Facial Recognition System which works flawlessly even in the dark and thanks to that infrared sensor that was included. Nevertheless, the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 UX363 gets my stamp of approval. Let me know what you think of the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 by dropping a comment below. Consider hitting that like button and also share this video if you found it helpful. And a sub to my channel will be awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.